With Hashem's loving grace, this is Lisa Brody, your host on Parsha Pearls. This week's Torah portion is Parsha's Va'era, and we have a very interesting lesson. Hashem commands Moses and Aaron, and he says, listen, when you go to Pharaoh and you do my bidding at Pharaoh, because Hashem told Moses and Aaron, go tell Pharaoh, let my people go, because Pharaoh's not going to listen to you. So what you do is you take your staff and throw it on the ground, and it's going to become a snake, and you show Pharaoh, and that, that then he'll listen to you. Well, they went, they went to the court, Pharaoh's court, and they threw the staff down, the, their walking stick, Moses walked, they threw the staff down, and it became a snake. And the other Egyptian soothsayers, the sorcerers, they all had staffs too, and they threw it on the floor, it became, it became snakes also. But then Moses' stick turned back into a stick, and after it turned back into a stick, it swallowed all the other snakes. There was a miracle within a miracle. First of all, we have to different that what the Torah says in one letter, the Balatorium says this, that Shem told Moses, Yehilatanin, tell that stick to be a snake, and that the snake shall be. If Shem would have said, Vayahilatanin, Hashem would have said, and it shall be a snake. Shem did not tell that to Moses and Aaron. He said, tell that stick to be a snake. This was the difference between Moses' stick and the stick of the soothsayers, the Egyptian soothsayers. They threw it down in their black magic and it became a snake. Moses threw the stick on the floor and he said, stick, be a snake. And Moses enabled this big miracle by the power of his mouth, tells us the Balaturim. Now, what do we learn from this? We learn from this the power of speech, the power of prayer. This is what Hashem is showing us in Moses' rod, his staff, or his stick, whatever you want to call it. Okay, we said when Moses told that, that, that stick only became a snake after Moses told it to. So he says stuff like this. We showed some miracle that the speech affects miracles. We see every day that our speech makes miracles, and it literally changes the Judaism, it literally changes the course of nature. If a person betrothes a woman, says three words, Haliat Makudesh, it completely changes her whole spiritual status from a single woman to a married woman, could be different. You take a mundane uh, water and flour and turn it into a ball of dough and say three words, Halezu Chala, and take it as a challah offering, which can only be eaten by a, a high priest, uh, by a priest in, a be in, in ritual purity in the Beit HaMikdash, and changes that. And if somebody eats that challah offering, outside of purity and outside of the holy temple the death penalty is very serious okay so we see hashem is showing us that by the power of our speech and when people sometimes they lack things in life and why are they lacking yes a lot of people i often ask this somebody said oh, rabbi i've got this problem and i have the problem i have uh whatever the income problem health problem and first thing i asked them did you ask hashem did you ask hashem for help and they say, no, no, they, they go to the lawyer, they go to the doctor, they go to the accountant. Ask Hashem, ask Hashem. You know, just approaching Hashem, speaking to Hashem in our own speech, the power of prayer, it's a miracle. And our speech can take a stick and turn into a snake. Now the stick is the good inclination and the snake is the bad inclination. But then we say to that snake, okay, become a stick. A person can, by his speech, when he uses speech properly, he could take evil and turn into holiness. And if he uses it improperly, he could take holiness and turn into evil. That's the law. That's the lesson of the stick and the snake. And the main lesson is the power of speech, the power of speech in our prayer that anything we want, we turn to Hashem and ask for it. This is what Hashem is showing us, the power, power of our prayer that can, can defy nature because prayer is above nature. Prayer is the expression of Amuna. Amuna is above nature. Because where nature leaves off, that's where Amuna begins. Amuna is above nature. And since Amuna is above nature, what Amuna can do, the expression of Amuna again is prayer, what that can do is defy nature because it's it, it's above nature. Nat natural law doesn't limit prayer at all. You can ask for whatever you want. And even the doctors say that uh, there's no cure or the lawyers say there's no chance, no, no chance to win the case or whatever. Don't let anyone ever 
uh, knock you down into despair because Rabbi Nachman Breslov says there's no despair in the world, that there's always hope. As long as a person can speak and speak a word of prayer and talk to Hashem, there's always hope. So what we have to do is to increase our prayers and increase our vocal relationship, our speech communication relationship with Hashem and see big miracles in your life. God bless for a wonderful week and a lovely Shabbat.